guys, what's going on? In today's video, we are going to be taking a glimpse at a piece from the making of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. We're going back to these books. These books are some of my favorites, and there's a ton of information I still haven't covered from here. So I want to go over a question that many people are always asking, and the answer here will come from George Lucas. Now, the question is, in what order do I watch Star Wars? Now, there's a lots of different people out there that are just getting into Star Wars with all the new shows or what have you. Now, the correct order, of course, is, well, whatever you want it to be. But if you want it from the answer of George Lucas, here it is right before your eyes. Lucas continues with his perspective of the Star Wars saga. If you see the films in order, it completely twists things about. A lot of the tricks in 4, 5, 6 no longer exist. The real struggle of the twins to save their father becomes very apparent, whereas it didn't exist at all for the first time, who with audiences who saw episode 4, 5, and 6. Now Darth Vader is a tragic character who's lost everything. He's basically a bitter old man in a suit. I am your father. Was a real shock. Now it's a real reward. Finally, the son knows what we already know. It's a very different suspense structure. Part of the fun for me was completely flipping upside down the dramatic track of the original movies. If you watch it the way it was released, four, five, six, one, two, three, you get one kind of movie. If you watch one through six, you get a completely different movie. One or two generations have seen it one way, and the next generations will see it a completely different way. It's extremely modern and almost interactive movie making. You take blocks and move them around, and you come out with different emotional states. Now, I never read this before from George. I know he always kind of touted that you should watch it one through six, but I never actually had it from his perspective where if you do watch it one through six, you kind of see it as a reward when Luke finds out that Vader is his father. I myself saw Star Wars in 1996 for the very first time. And when I saw it, I didn't know that Vader was, well, I mean, the prequels didn't exist. They weren't out. So when Vader told Luke that he was his father, I had no idea. It was a shock to me. I was very surprised. You know, the whole time you're going through the movie and you're like, yeah, Vader killed his dad, you know, and you <laughs> you get protective for Luke because it's like, you know, you put yourself in his situation and you would want to absolutely terminate Darth Vader. And then you find out that he is his father. And it's like, holy crap, what has happened to him? Why did he become this thing? And why did Obi-Wan lie to him? And how's Luke going to deal with this news? But then if you watch it from one to six, you already know the tragedy of Anakin Skywalker. And when you see Darth Vader, you feel sorry for him. And you know just how powerful he is, but you also know what he went through. And so when he tells Luke, it's like, ah, oh, he finally told him. Now we're all caught up and we're all up to date. I never thought that George would kind of want us to watch both versions or, or to say that, you know, there are essentially two different versions of the movies to watch. And it's totally true. If you ever do a marathon, even, even if you're like a huge Star Wars fan, and you do a marathon, let's say you do four, five, six, and then you do one, two, three, you'll get a completely different experience than if you just go one to six, even if you've seen it before, because you're just watching it in succession. Now, I think personally how you should watch Star Wars, well, I think how it originally came out, which is four, five, six, and then one, two, three. But I'm biased like that, because like I said, I saw it that way. However, I truly do believe that George always wanted us to watch one through six. And this is, of course, because he started the films at four, five, six, but not because that's the way they should have been seen, it's because of two reasons that I've read. The first reason is because technology wasn't around, so he couldn't make the Clone Wars. And the second reason is because he doesn't like starting a story right at the beginning. He likes to jump right into the middle of it, into the action, to keep it exciting and suspenseful. Now, in the next video, we're going to go over, very briefly, George mentions what would have happened if he had gone to take the prequel trilogy to a marketing company, and how episode two and three would have completely changed, and what he had in mind for it. And I guess he was thinking of this as being a possibility. So this is pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments what kind of order you watch Star Wars in. Is it one through six? Is it four, five, six, one, two, three? Or is it, you know, two, five, one, six, three, whatever. So let me know what you think about this and which order you watched it in for the first time. I'd love to know. Have an awesome day. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to grab the merch linked in the description. Only a few days left, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you, always.